what is up youtube it is a break on here so today i feel like i finally got some uh some exciting news for the mmorpg genre i'm finally starting to become optimistic about the future after whew, how many years guys seven eight nine years of just down years yeah we've had a couple games pop up like eso black desert maybe final fantasy but after about 2010 or something, man, it just started falling off. Development stopped. Um, just wasn't like a lot to look forward to. Be a game here and there, whatever. So uh, I really want to make a video of why I've kind of went from pessimistic the past few years to actually earlier this year, a few months ago, to kind of, hey, maybe, the, maybe there's something in the future. And now, just recently after another game got launched, another game got announced i'm finally starting to get i will say this cautiously optimistic you got to be cautious with the gaming industry nowadays we all know that but yes i think there could be a future so i'm gonna go uh, this video this is not gonna be a game uh i'm not gonna go in depth in these games but i'm gonna throw out a lot of mmos that are in development some new ones has been announced some you probably heard of some big hitters some indies um and show you why i'm finally excited um i will put links either to the official website of these games down below or i will put their youtube channel depending on how far they are along in development um so you can go down and check them out find out more information and pull up anything you want to on them also i do stream on twitch i will put that link in the description too so let's get started guys so i am going to start off right now with what i think is the most excited mmo coming i think it's the gonna be the next big mmo it's something everybody knows about so i'm gonna start off with a couple big time mmos everybody knows about um and this is ashes of creation i think this is gonna be the next big mmo i try to read up a lot more about it you know but they just started alpha one preview that's gonna go through some alpha phases through i think may or i think may and then probably after that's gonna be beta I fully expect this game to launch probably in 2022. That's just a guess. Um, nobody really knows when the game's going to launch. As we know, games get delayed all the time. But I do, I do fully expect it to launch in 2022. Um, I kind of gave up on this game, but then earlier this year, as many of y'all saw, Lazy Peon did a video on them, and then uh, next thing I know, Asmongold interviewed the developers, and then I think Shroud and Summit did. So it really got a lot of hype from there, and then they just started pumping out info gameplay info and it was like wow this game is gonna make it and then you start to see it and it starts looking more and more amazing and exciting the gameplay you're seeing right now i turned the volume off because the devs were talking about it this was just from a few days ago so this is kind of uh the current status but uh yeah it's gonna get better and better um you know in the future i think this is the number one mmo to look forward to period bar none that actually has gameplay footage now there's two other big hitters I will show on this list later down the road to be that could be just exciting and maybe the next um one of the next big big mmos um we'll get to those in a little bit let me show you one little thing before we move on i'm not gonna go into much detail on all these games i'm just gonna kind of simply discuss them and go on and move on from there so y'all can check out all these games and, and and see why we should actually start to maybe get a little excited for the future this is one thing that excites me personally right here this class chart as we see it right here, one thing that's frustrating playing in MMOs is, is the lack of classes. You get to a game, you're interested in it, and, you, and it's got four classes at launch. We've all been there. You can't find a class you really like. And if you can't find a class you don't like, it's boring. You just can't get into the game. So this right here basically gives you, you know, your main class, and you got a secondary class type of thing. Um, it's really, you're going to better get... Technically, there's eight, but there's really almost 64 classes. So there's variations, eight variations of each class. So it's going to be a huge way to really um, dive in and uh, um, really better find something you want to play is what I'm trying to say. I don't think you're going to be stuck. Oh, I'm stuck having to play this class. There should be something for everybody. So that's a big bonus. Also, I want to see what the node system looks like. Um, won't know that until we play, but I just honestly think this is going to be the next one. It's a gamer that started the company. 
And I think having a true gamer that wanted the next big MMO making the game really is a big bonus instead of uh, having some of these uh, corporate people making decisions. I think uh, it's going to be much more positive. And um, yeah, so let's go on to the next one, guys. Let's move on. We're going to jump into a game right here. That is called Odin. It is going to be launched. Supposedly, it's supposed to launch in 2021. Then in 2021, the game looks graphically amazing. Of course, nobody's played it yet. Um, it is going to be, uh, I think, on all three platforms. Um, but I know it is going to be on PC and mobile. Um, I know that throws a lot of people off, and I get it. I understand it. But guys, we got to realize eventually games are going to play on console, PC, and mobile all together. That is the future. Um, I know it turns people off. I get it. But it is what it is. I'm willing to give it a shot to see what happens with this game and kind of go from there. And uh, yeah, let's kind of see what, uh, see what kind of happens with it. So that's another one that's exciting. That should be launching in 20... 21 into 2021 if it does not get delayed that's the schedule at least um so let's let's uh let's hope it turns out great and uh we got another great game so next one we're going to kind of glance over is uh there's not been really uh gameplay on this yet i found uh it's called project ragnarok that's kind of a name that's thrown around a lot right now in the game community um as you can see this is kind of a demo graphic and uh don't really know a lot about the game right now it's made by uh netease which is a huge chinese internet giant basically um and i'm, I'm reading some of my notes it is it's like the second biggest company behind tencent over there um it is going to release on all three platforms pc console mobile we'll see how that turns out under that may turn people off i understand and i get it i get it i get it i get it but it's something else in development to look forward to and we'll see how it goes and we'll go from there guys so let's, let's check out another one now this is gonna be a little different style some of y'all have probably seen this next mmo right here core punk it's kind of a top-down diablo uh Wait, what, what path of exile no. uh viewpoint Listen, i've never played those games um i'm thinking about diving in a couple anything. uh waiting do uh for the next mmo i want to play but um yeah i was supposed to this this was supposed to release um i think it was supposed to release or going to beta like right now but it got postponed a little bit um I'm, i do expect it out soon and uh probably next year sometime next year i would think um but it's another option i do like the uniqueness of this game it's something different it's not gonna be for everybody the viewpoint's not gonna be for everybody the, the uh the pace of the game the uh just the style you know that style for mmos is kind of new so it may not be for everybody there are a few more on this list that has a style i think someone look really really good now guys remember me earlier mentioning there's a big hitter coming up another big hitter that changed my viewpoint in the future man and this next one is it just got announced this what changed me to be and starting to be more optimistic a league of legends mmo i've never played league of legends but it's got a massive it's a massive ip massive player base um most gamers have played it probably i think this has major major potential because they already have the world developed um the developers behind it they got money to put into it i think this could be a massive massive mmo Honestly, I think out of all the games I'm going to put on this list, this has the chance to be the biggest. My personal opinion, I think this may have the chance to be the biggest MMO on this list. Um, not much info on it. It just got announced that it's gonna, they're going to make one. So let's see what happens with it. This next game, MMO, is called Rise. Um, it also is going to be released on all three platforms. Uh, I know that's kind of been a couple of the games here. Um... 
and some people that turns people off or whatever the game looks this is gameplay right here just got released the other day um i think this game has a chance i mean it, it looks art artistically it looks great to me i love the art style i love this kind of i don't know is the skyrim looking kind of um kind of is a little bit isn't it but it looks great we'll see what happens with it not much detail on it yet um again this list is just really kind of putting out a lot of these mmos and, and why maybe we should start to get excited because there's more in development right now there's more mmos in development i feel like that have a chance to be great games than has been in 10 years you know we have some some games that recently that uh in the past 10 years and like i said eso even like arcade and some of these other games uh that people get hyped about people got hyped about bless and you know that was a failure but there is like way more now in development that has a chance to be big time so let's move to the next one man this is an ip it was called project tl now it's called tl origin the lineage is from that ip i think they may be kind of changing it off a little bit the lineage ip a little bit I've heard mixed things on it, so I'm not really 100% concrete on it. I do know they went into large in scale testing, beta testing in August. So just August of 2020, if you're watching this video. So just a couple months ago, <clears throat> they went into big time testing in house on the game. Um, it is going to be focused on a global audience. So they are really focusing mainly, I think on the Western audience, first and foremost. This game art style and everything looks absolutely incredible. Now this footage I will say is from like three or four years ago. There hasn't been gameplay since, but this is the game. So I would think everything should be improved. Graphics, just everything overall should be improved from this video by the time game, game launch. I think this game could be actually incredible. And uh, yeah. So these last ones, I'm going to kind of skim through these last ones a little bit uh, and then kind of give my final thoughts. And I kind of want to talk about um, kind of why the MMO genre fell off and then why it's coming, why things got a chance to come back. So let's check this out right here, guys. Lost Ark. That's another game that's actually already been out overseas, not in the U.S. Um, it's not made the U.S. now yet, but it is going to make it over to the U.S. I'm pretty sure Amazon now is going to publish publish the game, which is shocking to me, because they have um, New World coming out. Um, and I will talk about New World at the very end of this video for what it's worth. But yeah, this is another game that's going to be like the Project Tales, going to be a Diablo style MMO. Actually, people streaming on Twitch right now, so you can go check it out if you want to check it out and see what you think of it. Um, let's go on the next one. Mortal Online 2. Now, there was a Mortal Online 1 back in the day. It didn't have a huge player base, but it had a niche community. It's a hardcore PvP, first-person PvP game, medieval. Um, like I said, it's first-person. Um, so you might want to check it out. Uh, let's move on to the next one. Blue. Uh, we're going to go to Blue Protocol. Uh, there's some game footage of this. Um... That has been released. You can check it out all over the uh, the internet and stuff like that. It looks like it's going to be a very good game. They are going to do a global release. It's not been announced yet when it's going to make it to the U.S. So we're just kind of wait and see for information. There's plenty of gameplay play footage to check out on this game. So please go check it out. Next one, Crowfall. This game I played is the very first game I ever streamed back in February. Um, I think so. I have a niche community. It is going to uh, launch. I, I expect it out late this year. I've been in the, the betas, the alphas. Um, it's a PvP game. Uh, you can kind of see the art style. It's kind of going for that uh, little bit of cartooning kind of art style. Um, it's not a bad game. It's definitely going to make it. It's going to launch this year. I think it will have a community. I don't think it's going to be a massive player base, but I think we'll have a great niche community if you want to read up more on that. Now, here's, the, here's another one. I said there was two games that could rival i think ashes creation and develop meant and one of them was the league of legends mmo here is the next one the lord of the rings next mmo by amazon only thing that kind of scares me is amazon um they've had a couple fairy games recently but this ip i think is the number one ip in the fantasy world personally there's no gameplay of course 
I think they um, said they wanted to launch in like 2023 originally, but it, it's not going to make it. In. I, I expect it probably in 2024. I do think that's reasonable. It's going to be three years after New World. So I think that could be uh, incredible. Um, and then let's move on to New World. Let's finish with New World. You know, New World got pushed back. I think it was the best thing for the game. It was supposed to launch in August. It was not ready yet. It will have a pretty big player base, I do think. But it did need a lot of work from August. They are correcting, I think, some of the combat issues, like the global cooldowns. Um, it, it, it just felt awkward. It's kind of like a bad day. You're sitting across from a girl, dinner, and it's a bad day, and you just can't get a conversation going. That's kind of what the game felt like. It was not, it was missing the identity. Can they fix it? Yes, they can fix it. We'll see what happens over the next six months. If it launches in May when it's supposed to launch, I think New World's got a chance. Um, I expect it to be much better year after the release than it will be in May. And by then, I think if they have a direction and go full throttle in that direction, they can make a great game. And um, so let's finish this off, guys. So we're talking about the future and why I'm excited. You know, if we look back at like 2000, I want to say 2009 was about the prime of MMOs. Now, I don't think MMOs at the time, I'm not talking about the games launched. And at the time, the games launched in 2009 were the best MMO games. But I think that was about the best time for the MMO genre. Why? You had a lot still coming out. You had a lot that just released. And still older MMOs had a player base. Older MMOs like an uh, EQ2. Um... You had uh, Dark Age Camelot still have more of a uh, player base. And just some of the older MMOs still had a player base. Then you had WoW almost in its prime, pretty much in its prime. You just had like Lord of the Rings online launch. You had uh, Age of Conan just launch. You had uh, Warhammer Online just launch. You had, I don't know if Ion or Aeon, I, I don't know how to pronounce that, just launched or was about to launch. You had Star Wars, the Old Republic in development. You had Rift, I think, about to launch. It was like just an incredible time. Then it just fell off. And basically the survival era hits. They can make some money on games spending a fraction of the cost. And what happened, the MMO genre got oversaturated. There was too many. And a lot of people stick with one MMO and that's the only game they play. They don't, they don't bunny hop a lot of MMO gamers. So... um. Entering that market at the time when it was so saturated, they kind of moved on. And remember, there's a big survival boom. Um, right after like 2000, I don't know, 10, 11, 12, some of the range. Went from there. It took off a little bit, but it wasn't a massive. And they're still making them now, but it wasn't like a huge, massive uh, genre, like a FPS game. Then what happened? Then the BR genre hit. The BR genre hit. You had games like PUBG kind of, I think really, it wasn't the first, but I think it was the f maybe maybe the first big, 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 big one. You had some other ones before that were popular, very popular, but that took off and then boom, Fortnite hit. Fortnite hit, massive. Then you just had Warzone hit uh, earlier this year, I think. Um, but everybody was trying to jump in the BR era. They were trying to do their own little twist, take on it, and a lot of them are not making it. Didn't take off. Um, so I'm thinking developers now hope are going to maybe start to move out of that market because everybody just started making BR games. BR, BR, BR. So maybe kind of like it was with MMOs about 2010 where developers started moving out of that genre. I'm kind of hoping it is. And maybe some developers start looking back in the MMO genre. It looks like right now, I just showed you a ton of MMOs, guys. A ton in development. Will all of them be great? No, a lot of them will be bust. And there's even games I'm not even mentioned um, that y'all know about. They're smaller. Um, but I really think we have a future. In the next three or four years, I think starting this year, we're going to start to get MMO launches from New World. Hopefully, Odin will launch. Crowfall. You're going to start to get MMO launches. And then... Um, and it's going to continue next year. And uh, it was going to continue the year after for a few years. So I think, guys, I think the future looks great for it. And that's kind of my take on it. And this is why I'm showing you all these games. And we have big players. We have big money players putting money in these games. And I'm not even mentioning games like, like games I think I just fell off. Star Citizen and, and Camelot and Chain, which we all know those stories. But we have League of Legends jumping into it, man. Holy cow. Amazon's making two. 
um, Ashton's creation is, is really just going to be a massive game, I think, man. I really think it is. There is excitement. I mean, what about this this TL origin once it really takes off and, and, and more information comes out? They're already test, in, in-house testing right now the game. So I think there's some just massive... These aren't, aren't these small indie games. There's some big, massive games that are in development right now. I think we have a chance to get the MMO market back and uh, have some games for us to play. Guys, that's basically it. That's my take on the future. Please, if you enjoyed it, man, hit the like, subscribe. I do stream on Twitch. I'll put that link below. Leave a comment, man, if any of these games interest you or what is your favorite MMO in development, not what you're playing right now, in development that you're most excited to see. Put it down below. And guys, that is it for this video. Thank y'all, and I will see y'all next time. Peace. I'm out of here.